Hey there, it's Kayleen and Stephanie, and today we are talking about prepping your meals. So, in order to stay prepared, what's step number one that people need to do to prep their meals for the week? The very first thing that you need to do is to make a plan. You have to have a plan. Write out what meals you're going to eat for the entire week. Write out your breakfast, your lunch, your dinner, your snacks. Plan it out. Once you plan it out, it's easy to build from there and make a shopping list. So go ahead and go into step number two. Well, actually, I love the quote that you've used before about planning and success. Can you share that quote? The, if you fail to plan, then you plan to fail. Yes, okay. yes. So you've got to have a plan for the week. And I really like to lay mine out on a piece of paper. Mm -hmm. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Usually during the week, um, my days are all the same. So I know at a certain time, I'm gonna be able to eat a snack. I'm gonna be able to eat lunch and dinner, and I can just write out what I'm going to have for my snack, for my lunch, for my dinner. Make sure you write out your portion sizes as yeah. well because so many times we eat more than we even think we're eating because we don't weigh it, we don't measure it, and that's how a lot of times we end up putting on weight is because we have no idea really how much we're actually eating. Yeah, and it sneaks up, that weight oh, yeah. sneaks up so fast, especially the older we get. So, step number one was making a plan. Step number two is to hit the grocery store. So once you have that plan, you're gonna know exactly what you need to get from the grocery store. You need no more and no less. If I make my plan, I guarantee potato chips and ice cream and frozen pizzas are not going to be on my grocery list. Don't get sidetracked. <laughs> so don't get sidetracked. Make that list, hit the grocery store and go to exactly those points. And then, yes, and then come home and prepare your meals in bulk. You can eat a lot of the same things throughout the week, or a lot of times for dinner, I do a big crock pot meal, and then I can reuse that throughout the week for my lunches, whatever I need to. And so if you come home and you make your meals in bulk, then it's already ready. You can cook your veggies, you can cook your chicken, you can cook a big pot of rice, things like that, so that way it's easily at your disposal when you're ready for a meal. Yeah, so just like Stephanie said, you can eat the same things throughout the week, or one thing I love to make for my lunch is just a little Mama Lupe's low-carb tortilla with some sort of meat on it. And Here's that's, your crab. Yeah, I love crab, <laughs> except Stephanie says it makes my office smell, so <laughs> it, it tastes so good. But every day I can kind of switch up the taste. I use the same vegetables, um, a little bit of hummus, but I can just change out my protein. So instead of crab, I can put chicken deli meat on there or roast beef. And by changing such a minimal thing, the taste changes and I don't get bored with my food. So just to review the steps, step number one is to make a plan for the week. Step number two is to hit the grocery store. And then step number three is to prepare your meals in bulk so you have no excuses. Now, we have included a breakfast, lunch, and dinner example for you. So below this video, we're gonna have a download for you to check out, and it'll get you on track or at least started for the week ahead. We'll see you next time.